Hello my friends, Shachin is here and in today's video we are not talking about anything luxury or anything from Mr. Louis Vuitton. I did want to talk about a very famous brand that you're familiar with and of course that is from Coach. Never thought in a million years I would be talking about Coach because as you guys know, Coach was very popular in the early 2000s, mid 2000s. You look left and right, everyone has something from Coach, a bag, a wallet, um, but then it sort of died down. Just got too, too popular. A lot of people were wearing it. It started to look a little tacky with the CC monogram. Coach has definitely been rebranding themselves and I feel like they are bringing back classic and timeless pieces. I did find myself buying from Coach more recently over the past year during when the pandemic happened. They were releasing a lot of cute items and next thing you know, I have like a collective haul. Now a lot of these items are small leather goods, SLGs. I don't have any handbags because I just haven't really found anything that I truly love yet. When I do get one, I'll probably do make a video of it. So without further ado, let's see what I got. So the first item I have is this little nice gem. This is called the Zip Around Coin Case. I just fell in love with the print and color and the size of it. This was a limited edition piece. I believe this was released back in 2018, 2019, spring and summer. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on it. I did buy this on eBay from a secondhand seller, brand new for about $40. I'm pretty sure I did pay a little bit of markup, but that's fine. I think $40 still a reasonable price. So this coin case is made from a signature coated canvas. It does have a zip around closure. Inside has two credit card slots and two compartments. Now this does fit a good amount of eight cards, four on each side. Two credit cards can fit into the side pockets and then two can fit inside the little compartment. What made me fell in love with this item is the print. Of course, they are cherries and I love the color. It's just a nice pop of color without being in too much. A lot of times zip card holders are pretty bulky and this one is like the perfect size. It doesn't take up a lot of space to fit in your jeans or you know, a small bag or whatnot. Here is an example from Article and Goods. And as you can see, you put this in your jeans you will feel it. It's like a regular bifold wallet, if anything. Now, because I love this one so much, I decided to buy a second one in the color Midnight. It's like a dark navy blue with the gold hardware zipper. This is made from cross grain leather. So this is leather and not a coated canvas. The good thing is this one is still available on the Coach Outlet website. It does retail for $31 USD. When I picked it up, I only paid $28. And that's the thing with Coach is that their price does change, which is kind of annoying because you don't really know how much items are. I highly recommend you guys checking these two card holders out. If you're like me, who just carry cards, but want something a little bit more compact, these are the way to go. The next item I have here is another card holder. I know, why do I need another card holder? I don't know, it's just very cute, okay? So this card holder is called the Black Card Case Turn Lock Coin ID Holder. And the main reason why I wanted to get it was, of course, the turn lock. It definitely does remind me of like the Chanel turn lock, if that makes sense. Which by the way, if Chanel ever comes out with like a card holder that has the CC turn lock, oh, I think I would have to buy it. I really do. I think that would be so cute and I'm pretty sure people will buy it for sure. I'm a manifest it, okay? Hopefully one day. I was lucky enough to buy this this year. It did come in stock and then it got sold out, but for some reason it came back and I was able to get this for only $15. What? So crazy, $15? Such a steal. Unfortunately, they don't sell this anymore. Um, you can only buy it on eBay. A lot of sellers were selling it for about $40 to $50. So I'm so happy I didn't buy it from a secondhand seller. <laughs> this item here is made from full calf leather. And of course, again, it does have the turn lock mechanism. When you do turn the turn lock and lift the flap, there is just one side compartment in there and no pockets. It does have like a nice like burgundy color in there. Again, definitely reminds me of Chanel a little bit. Yeah, now, I did test this card holder out and it does fit like a good six cards. You can stretch it out to seven to eight cards if you want, but I feel like it gets a little bit too tight and it's a little struggle to pull it out. So I think 
you know, six card is the best. Very excited to have this in my collection. And yeah, I think it's just a nice basic everyday pieces to use. The next item I'm going to show you guys, oh, please don't judge me, but I bought three of them. I know. Why do I need three little pouches? I don't know, but they're just so cute, okay? So these are called the mini boxy cosmetic cases. I really do think they're just very fun to have. All of these cosmetic cases are made from a coated canvas. It does have a smooth leather pull tab and it does feature one zip closure. Inside has only one side pocket. Now you can definitely fit a lot of items in here. Your cards, your cash, keys, lipstick, maybe a blotting sheet, miniature makeup. It does not fit your phone, so don't be surprised if you try to fit your phone. You can carry this handheld in your hands if you're just quickly going to the grocery or whatnot. This is the one that really started it all. I bought this, I think around like September. I was browsing on eBay and when I saw this, I was like, wow, that is really cute. You know, I, I really do love the light blue against the oranges. I think it just complements each other really well. I did buy this for about $40. You know, not too bad. I think that's still reasonable. These are recently purchased items. I did buy this uh, back in March and then this one last one in April. I fell in love with this one because of the cream color with the lipstick. Now I like this one a little bit better because it is black. It goes with a lot of things. I do love the florals choice of color. They're not too floral. It's just like a little subtle hints. You can still find this on the Coach outlet or even on their website. Right now it does retail for $23 and I think that is a good price. For $23, girl, you should get it last but not least this item here is very popular from coach because it was once sold out and then it got discontinued but then coach did bring it back and i was so surprised to see this in store so here it is this is the nolita 15 and i'm pretty sure you guys know that this is very comparable to the louis vuitton mini pochette and as you can see they literally look identical in terms of size. Now I did think about doing a comparison video between these two, but to be honest, there is like what, 20 videos on YouTube already and I just don't think I need to. I will tell you guys which one I think is way better than the other because, oh, I got some thoughts, okay? Let's go back to the Nolita 15. So I bought this back in March of 2021 and I paid $55. Right now, if you look on the website or if you do go in stores, it does retail for $82. Again, I don't know what's up with coach pricing. They tend to fluctuate up and down. If you do want to save a little bit of money, make sure you stock the page every day to see when the price drops. So the detail on the Nolita 15, this is made from a full pebble leather. It feels really structured, it feels amazing. The quality is definitely there. It does feature a nice gold zip topper. When you open it, the only thing inside is two slit credit card slots so you do not have to carry any additional card case in this pouch and it does come with a leather handle strap with a gold clasp the original nolita 15 did come with the gold chain strap that looks identical to the mini pochette i don't know why they removed the gold chain maybe because they don't want to get sued by louis vuitton who knows i'm not too crazy about this because as you guys can see it just kind of like hangs it doesn't like fully fall down it doesn't completely stand up so it's just really awkward and if you do put a crossbody strap onto this pouch it just kind of protrudes out a little bit so it looks a little weird you can remove the clasp and put it to one side of the bag making it as a wristlet so that is nice however i don't like this either but I'm pretty sure over time the leather handles is going to get softened and it is going to be a little bit more flexible. Now it does fit your basic essential like your credit card, your cash, keys, maybe a cell phone depending on which size. Definitely fit your lip balm, blotting sheets, medicine, you know, just like the, ba like the basic essential. But overall, if I had to pick just one, I think I would just pick the Nolita 15. Less than $100, it's full leather, it fits the same amount as a mini pochette, 
and to be honest you don't have to feel bad about really using it don't get me wrong i still love my mini pochette it's definitely a cute item but i will say the quality i just don't like the thinner canvas and for the price point mini pochette does retail for 440 it's going to reach like 500 550 maybe 600 and when it comes to that point i really do not think the mini pochette is worth it so there you have it guys that is my entire coach collective haul that i've been collecting for the past year to be honest i never thought i would be buying from coach again because you guys know it was once popular and it died down i really do think they are making a comeback with their classic and timeless pieces i mean their material is there you know their leather items amazing i really do think they are definitely worth it for the price but we shall see what i will buy in the near future if you are new here please consider subscribing to my channel give this video a thumbs up because it will help me in the long run and of course i will talk to you guys soon in the next have a great one bye